Now let's think about that song Snail and think about what we are hearing in terms of rhythm and melody. Let's start with the rhythm. Sing the song with the original words about the snail and clap the rhythm of the words and think about what you're hearing. Rowdy sing, snail, 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 snail. Goes all around, around, around. Very good. Let's sing just the first phrase, the word snail. Rowdy go, snail, 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 snail. In that phrase, we had four beats. So I'm going to draw four beat lines on my board. And we need to put something in those four beats. How many times did we clap for each of those beats? Snail, 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 snail. We clapped once for each beat. That means how many sounds did we hear on each beat? Just one. So I'm going to write a ta on each beat because ta is what we call one sound on one beat. Now, let's think about what we hear of the melody of this phrase. As I point to each of these ta's, think about the note you're singing. Ruddy sing, snail, 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 snail. Did you hear a high note and a low note? And do you remember what do we call the high note and the low note? The high note is so, and the low note is me, so, me. Did we begin with so or me? We began with so. So this one is so, and then they take turns. Me, so, me. And that's the first phrase of snail. Can we figure out the second phrase? Let's sing the second phrase and clap the rhythms. something other than ta's now, we're hearing two sounds on some of the beats. Again, this phrase is four beats, so I'm going to write the four beats to help us track our place here. And let's sing it again, and I'll point to how many sounds we hear on each beat. Body go, goes around, around, around. How many sounds on this beat? Two, and that's a ta -ti. So I'm going to make two stems and connect them with the beam across the top. How many sounds was that? Two. So we had two sounds on this beat. Goes around, around. Do we have another tati? Round. Just one sound on this last beat. So this last beat is different. All right, so now you see the rhythms that we have. Ta ti ta ti ta ti ta for the second phrase of the song. Now let's think about what sounds we are hearing there, what notes we are hearing. We have so again, but then it goes higher. Goes around. What note is higher than so? La. So so la. write that underneath the stems here of the rhythms that I wrote earlier. So, so, la, la, so, so, me. And now we have all of the necessary information for this song. We have the stems that show us the rhythms, the ta's and tatis, and we have the solfege that shows us what notes to sing, the so's and me's and la's. So we can sing the whole song. Let's practice that idea with um, some other patterns. I'm going to make a rhythm pattern and then I'm going to write solfege under it and we're going to try and sing from that pattern. Let's see. I started with a very easy one that you would recognize. Let's sing this one. So here is so ready, sing, so me, so so me. Now 
Now you sing that yourself. Let it go. Good. Ready to do another one? I'm going to make this one a little bit trickier. I'm going to put la in this one as well. Here you go. One more. This one also has so and la and me, tatis and tas. Very nice singing. 